Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome back to our channel. Recently, we released a brand new version of the JetMenu plugin. It got major changes to the plugin's code, mainly to make it more flexible. So we updated the settings, changed the plugin's page a bit, added some new features, and all that was just to make a lot of things easier for you. If you missed it, we already have an extensive JetMenu 2.1 version video overview, so go ahead and check it out. And in this tutorial, I'd like to go deeper into the plugin's settings, and together, we will create a mega menu from scratch. By the way, if you are new to our channel, make sure you are subscribed, and also don't forget to hit the notification bell. And now, let's get started! Of course, you need the JetMenu plugin to be installed and updated to the latest version. Before we go any further to the plugin's settings and start applying any changes, I want you to make sure that you have at least some WordPress menu on your website. Check its display location, it has to be set as the main one or primary. And also, as we're gonna be working with the Jet menu, to ensure that all the changes will be applied and visible on the front end, please enable Jet menu for current location, otherwise it will not work. Also, I want to mention that except for the Elementor, I have only Jet menu plugin installed. And the theme I'm using now is just a default WordPress one. Now, to open the plugins settings, go to Crocoblock, Jet Plugins Settings, Unfold Jet Menu, and let's start with the general settings. The first thing you'll see on the very top will be this message Jet Menu Update, suggesting you switch to the revamp Jet Menu. In a moment, I will tell you more about revamp jet menu, but for now, let's go over the settings we see on this page. On top of the general settings tab, you will find tools for creating a preset of current options. Preset manager, export and import options, or reset current options. The next options here, SVG images upload status, Template Content Cache and Cache Menu CSS are pretty simple and we won't be changing anything about them. But there is one more option – Revamp Menu. And this is a new feature that is intended to solve the backward compatibility problem. When this option is enabled, all settings made on JetMenu dashboard will apply to the menus from WordPress locations only. So, if you want to use your old menu with its settings, keep this option turned off. However, if you need to build a new menu from scratch, like I'm gonna be doing in this tutorial a bit later, toggle it on. The main difference will be noticeable right here. As of right now, I have a revamp menu turned off, and if I click on the desktop and mobile render, you'll see almost the same settings that were before the update. But once I turn it on, you'll see the updated plugins settings, something was added or removed, and some things were merged together for convenience. Also, revamp menu transforms the mega menu widget settings. On the left side of the screen, you can see a mega menu widget settings with the revamp menu turned off. And on the right is the same widget but with the updated settings. As you can see, they look different, so keep that in mind when using the revamp menu option. We will get back to the mega menu widget later in this tutorial. Ok, and back again to the desktop menu. These settings along with the mobile render ones are for customizing your menu's appearance. I gotta stop here for a moment and tell you more about it. Please remember that everything you set here will be applied only to the default WordPress menu, simply speaking the ones created without JetTheme Core plugin. Right now I'm using just a basic WordPress theme. The only plugin I have here on this website is JetMenu and Revamp is off as well. 
Let's set this neon green color for a menu container background in a desktop menu. And let me open my website in a new tab. As you can see, the changes were applied. And now we have a green background and some text font I set before. And now let's turn on a revamp menu. As soon as I do that, my menu gets back to its default look. The settings in the main menu and mobile render have changed and now we can change the layout into horizontal, vertical or a drop-down. Then such options like animation and trigger are the same as in the old menu settings. However, there is a bunch of new ones like sub-position, sub-target and breakpoints that are the points at which a website's content and design will adapt in a certain way to provide the best user experience. A menu rollup. You can enable this option to reduce the menu size by grouping extra menu items and hiding them under the suspension dots. In the rollup type, you can set it to text and insert any text or symbols, or set it to icon and upload the one that you need. Here is a menu without rollup. And here is the one with the rollup turned on. Instead of the rest of the menu items at the end, we can see only three dots. Now let's talk about the feature a lot of people have been asking for – mobile render. Most websites usually have two different menus – one for a desktop and one for a mobile or a tablet. Let's say you don't want to create another menu. You want to use the same default one both for desktop and mobile and easily customize it not using any widgets. It becomes possible now with the mobile render option. Once you turn it on, first of all, you will be able to select a certain device – mobile only or for both tablet and mobile. And secondly, you can proceed to the mobile settings and style everything according to your needs. To show you how it works, let's follow this link that basically leads to this mobile render settings tab. Then go to container styles. I'll set some blue color for the background. And in the items styles, change the label color as well as its font and size. The changes have been saved, and let's check how both menus look. Please don't mind those colors I set for the text, I just wanted to show you that it's still the same menu, although it has a completely different style. So basically, right here you can customize your mobile menu without going to different pages, widgets, etc. To sum up, if you are working with the default WordPress menu, you can easily style it up right in the dashboard in the Jet menu plugins settings. Main menu has lots of options like layout, main menu with the container width, items typography settings like font family, size, weight, style, etc. Items padding, a normal, over, and active states, all the drop down settings, state, and drop down toggle. Mobile render has even more, like different layout options and additional settings. And also, you can find here toggle, container, items, submenu icon, and advanced styles. Honestly, guys, Jet Menu has such a wide range of styling options that you don't even need any widgets. Everything can be done right here. 
Although here comes the next part of our tutorial. We are going to build a new mega menu from scratch and style it. Ok, so in case you want to bring your menu to a different level, JetMenu has lots of tools to do that. Instead of some simple and boring menu, you can create a very unique and entertaining one in a couple of clicks. Just look at the possibilities JetMenu provides you with. You can put a menu into a menu, add a listing grid with products, different banners, any media or even blog posts, and what's more, a map and even a contact form. And this is exactly what we're gonna be doing further in this video. To begin with, I will open my other website with our nice travel website template Travango in a new tab. It's a very beautiful template with great photos of different travel destinations. But this default menu doesn't really suit it. My goal is completely transform it. The first step will be turning on the revamp menu as we want to use exactly the updated mega menu widget. Let's go to the dashboard, Crocoblock, Jet Plugins Settings, Jet Menu. Ok, once it's on, your page will be reloaded and you'll see the updated plugins settings. But we don't need them right now, so let's proceed to the appearance menus. Here you can create a completely new menu and add the necessary items manually, however, I will stick to the ones I have. The second step is to make this menu main. And once you save it, you will see that now Jet Menu Locations settings are available. Let's enable Jet Menu for current location. And of course, right here you can also select a menu for mobile layout. And now you may ask, how did you put those different elements like grids or a video into the menu? You don't have to go anywhere else because everything will be done right here on this page. Once you hover on any menu item, you'll see this blue settings button on the right. This button position actually got an update in the latest plugins version. Previously, it could be found inside the menu item frame, so it only got more convenient. To add a mega menu content, simply click on this settings button. Mega content settings window was also transformed a bit. We removed the vertical widget tab as it was duplicating the settings from the mega content section. But there are still all the major settings like item icon, badge, and advanced. As for the mega content, to start adding it, first of all enable use mega content. And then click on the edit mega content button. An Elementor editor window will show up and let's try to add something. This is a destination's menu item. For this one, I will be working with the listings that I added before, but if you need any help with creating a listing from scratch, please check our video tutorial. I'm gonna add a section and then set its width. This tab is optional, so if you want your mega menu to be full width, you can do it right here. Now let's add a listing grid widget. In the listing, start typing the listing name and select it. Ok, a bit below, you can adjust the columns number and the number of posts. As we're basically creating a whole section, we can add a heading as well that will say, for example, the most popular destinations. Of course, style it and add a margin and padding if needed. Also, in case there are, let's say, 20 or more destinations or products and it can be problematic to display them at once, 
we can simply add a button that will lead the users to the page with the rest of the elements. So this was option 1. Option 2. A bit complicated. Let's update everything and save it. And by the way, now when you save the mega menu and the page is refreshed, you can see this green message mega activated. So there is no need to waste time guessing which menu item has mega menu content and which does not. So the second option. What if you have let's say a shop and you sell product both for women and men? You cannot place all women's and men's categories in a menu. What you can do is display the necessary categories inside one menu item. So simply speaking, it will be a menu inside a menu. For that, of course, you need a new menu to be created. Let's click on the Create a Menu button. Give it a name. For example, in my case, it will be Countries. Alright, now we need to add items to the menu. It can be post, pages, custom links, categories, and I also have a WooCommerce endpoints. In case you don't see anything here or you need to add certain elements, click on the screen options. And by the way, if you need more information on how to add the missing items to your menu, we have a nice detailed article that can help you with that. To check out more handy guides, go to our website Help Center Troubleshooter. So you will see different options available for you, like post types, products, product tags, and so on. As I am building a menu for a travel website, I want to display countries. For that, I will add a custom taxonomy, unfold it right here, select all, and then click add to menu. That's it. You can add lots of menu items just in a couple of clicks. When you're done, click save a menu. Ok, we won't be doing anything with this menu, so let's get back to the main one. Now choose the item where you want to display the categories, for example, let it be Tours. Click on Settings, enable Use Mega Content, and then click on Edit. Add a section, set a width if needed. And the next step, simply add a vertical mega menu and select the menu you just created. Here we go. You can leave it as it is or if you have a long list of categories, divide it into two parts and create two different menus. To get rid of background color, go to Style tab, Main menu items, background color. Also, here you can set a text color and change the typography settings. I will also set color for hover state and adjust the padding. One more option with the same vertical mega menu and a listing grid that we used before. Let's add two sections this time. Move the countries to the first column and add a listing grid widget. I'm gonna select a different listing. And this time, let's transform it into a slider. I will change the number of columns into 2. And if you scroll down, you'll see slider. Unfold it and toggle on Enable slider. Here you can adjust the speed, slide to scroll, navigation elements and so on. 
I will keep it simple, so there will be dots only. You can always style what you need in the next tab, add more elements, and once you're done, click update. Don't forget to save everything. Jet menu has no limits and this is what's great about this plugin. If you need a video, feel free to add it. Recent blog post, easy as pie. But this is not the end. You can put a map or a contact us form or even data from options pages inside the menu. I will delete the last menu item I have here and then add a custom link to a contact us page and name it contact us. And now let's add some mega content. So with the map it's very easy, just use our advanced map widget. As for the contact form, of course you need a contact form 7 to be installed and activated. Again, this widget is pretty easy to use, all you need to do is style it according to your needs. Now options pages. In case you haven't used the options pages before, I suggest you watch our video tutorial where we added them step by step. A quick note. To use options pages, you need a Jet Engine plugin. So I created an options page with the contact information beforehand, and now I need to display the meta field content. For this one, I will use a dynamic field widget. In the source, I will select options and then choose the necessary field. Repeating the same steps, you can display as many fields as you want. And what's good about options pages is that whenever you decide to change any information you put into the options page, you simply go to just one place and it changes everywhere you used it on your website. I think it's very useful option, so don't forget to check our tutorial. Alright. Before we move on to checking the updated Mega Menu widget, I have to tell you one last thing. There is no need to always create the sections manually. In case there are any element or templates that you'd like to use, simply insert them into any part of the Mega Menu. Pull the widgets and extensions straight from the builder and create a mixed layout by combining columns and sections. Well, now I think we're done building our mega menu. Let's finally check the front end. And here is the menu that I'm sure will take your visitor's breath away. It's cool, it's dynamic, and there are lots of elements that most of the users will find extremely helpful like a grid with your bestsellers, a list of all categories they can see right away, or even contact us details so people don't spend a lot of time scrolling down to footer trying to find a contact us link. As a final touch, let's take a look at the updated Mega Menu widget. Edit your header either from your website's homepage right here, or if you're in the dashboard right now, go to Crocoblock Theme Builder and edit the header. So my teammate Kate did a nice job explaining some new features here and if you haven't watched her jet menu overview video yet, go ahead and check it. The first thing I wanted to mention here is again keep in mind that whatever you change here will rewrite your plugins settings. And secondly, in case you want to adjust the width of your mega menu, Go to Layout, a Mega Container Width Type, set it to Selector, and in the field Custom Selector, insert Elementor Section Wrap. Or make sure you set your Mega Menu sections to Full Width.
If you followed me to the very end, be proud of yourself, as I think most people would just ditch the idea of a complicated menu. But we're not looking for an easy way here, right? Crocoblock is here to support your crazy ideas and walk you through the most complicated parts. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. By the way, if you need any assistance, leave your comments down below or contact our support team. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.